Hey guys, if you don't know already, you're listening to the Son of a Geek Podcast. Son of a Geek! I'm Spencer, and... I'm um, Zio. Yeah, he's Zio. How's it going, buddy? Not bad, I'm sick. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> no, it's it's tradition. It's, you know, we go through a phase where we don't do this for a while, and then you get like a hairy stick up your butt, and you're like, yeah, we're doing a podcast! I'm like, oh god, I'm sick. Alright, let's go. <laughs> well, this is what, this is revamp... We've restarted it three times? Is this the third or the fourth time? I don't know. It's like podcast son of a geek for electric boogaloo for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just going to continue on with the same numbering that we had before, though. Yeah, yeah, it'll be like we never stopped. Yeah, if you're listening Unless to it for the first time, the you dates. wouldn't even know. Exactly. You'd never know. You'd be like, oh, wait, hey, this is the next podcast. Uh, so today's topic for the podcast is butt stuff. Butt stuff. And yeah, yeah it's, we're going to get real deep. Yeah. So basically, <laughs> I'm going to talk about something, and then Zio's going to be like, yeah, but this stuff. And then he's going to start talking about stuff, and then I'm going to be like, yeah, but this stuff. And then I'm going to start talking about stuff, and then it's just going to be a whole bunch of butt stuff. Yep. Butt stuff. Nice. Oh, that reminds me. So oh. do you remember way back when, one of the yep. podcasts we did, we talked about Genshin Impact? Yeah, it's out. It's out, and it's a phone game, and it's good. It's also is on it? Pl- it's on. A, it's also on PS4, and oh PC. really? I didn't know. See, yeah. I thought I kept getting ads for it being on cell phone, so I had no idea it's a PS4 game. Yeah, it's also on. It's coming on the Switch. Mm. It's in development for the Switch, <gasps> and I'm getting it for the Switch. It's 100%. really good. I like it. Is it? So you know, oh. there's a lot of questions about it that people have because it's like a, a gotcha game. You know what those are? No. So it's a game where you progress and you get, or no, not progress. Um, they're a type of game where it's kind of like random chance stuff where, oh, you know the gotcha balls that they have in Japan? Where it's no. like the little, it's like a little dispenser. You put in like a dollar or whatever, and then the little ball comes out and then they open it up and they get a little toy out of it. Oh, okay, yeah. You know what those things are? Kind of. I mean, I understand the concept of it. Yeah, so a gotcha ball has it so that you put the money and you get a little ball, a random one, and you get an item inside, and there's different rarities of different ones, and there's lots of different kinds. And so that's where yeah. the gotcha games kind of term came from. Because okay. instead of a gotcha ball, it's a gotcha game where it's... Yeah. You kind of like you collect cards or whatever it is, or you collect uh, characters or different things like that. Uh, and with this one, um, I already forgot the name of the game. Genshin Impact? Genshin, <laughs> Genshin Impact. <laughs> Dude, I guess it didn't leave that much of an impact. Apparently but... not. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's the same kind of concept where you start out the game, you make your own character. Oh, shit, I'm already downloading it. And then... Uh, but by make your own character, I mean there's a boy and a girl you choose from, kind of like how some of the Fire Emblem games have done it recently. Yeah. And then you just start collecting people as you're going around in a Breath of the Wild styled world. But that it's... is literally the fastest download I've ever done. But the well, once you open it up, it's got to download all the updates. But oh, this God, game's nice. more beautiful than Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild was beautiful in the aspect that it was big and the art style was cool and it was always fun to explore things, explore around. But this one, it feels like that. But if Breath of the Wild survived for another like 400 years and they actually had civilization build up with it. Okay. So it's got cool towns you can go exploring around. There's different Uh, NPCs you can talk to. 12 gigabyte. Wow, man, man, all I did. So it's free. Mm hmm. That's cool. I didn't know it was free. It's a, it's a massive, like, it's incredible, a game of this size and the stuff in so, it is free. Is it one of those where, like, there's a lot of ads and you gotta buy no. stuff to continue? No, nope. really? It's just a free game? Yep. I mean, Holy you can shit! Sp- you can spend money to get stuff faster. Okay. But So, like, is it, like, grinding XP kind of thing? I don't know. I've, I mean, t- I've only played it for, like... 20 minutes. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. You said they're making it for the Wii? It's, the, yeah, the it's Switch? in development right Switch? now to come on the Switch. Dude, I am 100% getting this on the Switch and mm-hmm. playing it. Yeah, me like, too. I, I, I want more excuses to play my Switch, and this is it. The and... only reason why I haven't played the mobile version uh, very much is because it does not have controller support. Ugh. So you have to play well, it with just, a touch screen. I'm downloading it now for my PC, so I'm going to try it out on PC. 
And... I think you're going to really like it. If you like Breath of the Wild, you're going to really like this game. Well, I never played Bottawa. Oh. But I have a feeling I would probably like Bottawa anyways. I think you would. Good. I, uh, I'm very excited because I love JRPGs. And I remember I started reading the manga that was on their website. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I guess I should continue that. Oh, nice. I didn't know there was yeah. one. Yeah, they, they have a whole, like, if you go to the website, they have a whole, like, exploration of like manga and it's like really good artwork it's not like some cheap garbage that you know sometimes comes with a game where they give you like oh here's a, a few little magazines to go deeper into lore but it's not like very deep at all like they legit have like manga that's awesome so there are 13 chapters and like each chapter like the artwork is gorgeous and they're each each book is like 25 pages that's amazing they've put a lot of effort and in, into so many different directions with this game to make it successful and i hope they make I lots know. of money off of it i do too like i want this game to be successful and i'm gonna support it as soon as it's done downloading i'm already <laughs> one and a half gigabytes into it i gotta say though that beard is looking good oh thanks i'm really considering shaving i feel <laughs> <laughs> it's it's getting mean, out of control. Your mustache is basically taking over your upper lip. That's true. I have no upper lip anymore. It's just and a all I see is bottom lip and just mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be like the next uh, Tom Selleck. Oh, well, uh, you're on the right track for it. Thanks. I've man. been growing Thanks, out mine man. too. Yeah. But, uh, it's hard to see with the lighting right now, but yeah. I can kind of see it. <laughs> no, I've I've always hated my beard. But I've always been lazy, so I yeah. haven't always gotten rid of it. And uh, a girl I'm dating, she's like, oh, man, you got to keep the beard. I like it. So I'm like, all right, fine. I I used to be very clean cut and um, and in general, just very clean cut and shaved yeah. and stuff. And my wife likes hairy, hairy men. <laughs> uh, she's, she's like, the, she's... don't shave that around your belly button. I like to twirl my finger around in it. <laughs> Basically. Basically, yeah. She's like, I like her hairy. <laughs> for her uh, for her bachelorette party, her stripper was Chewbacca. What? That's I'm amazing. <laughs> so they got someone to come in as Chewbacca. Yep. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I've... But, uh, what, so, I mean, I know we just talked about Genshin Impact, though. I mean, that that's one of the gaps that we've missed. What have you been up to during our breaks, man? We, don't, we haven't talked since April. No, we haven't talked since the last podcast. Man. Which is, which is actually really thinking about it. We haven't really just sat down and talked. Maybe it's like true. once or twice. We might have had a couple, like, game meetings and stuff, and then... But, but never, like, played, a conversation. Like, a game for the stream, but yeah, we never just sat down and just chatted for a while no we never even really did it with the last few podcasts either they were all so structured and this one's just so i know this but, is so but free stuff. form we got like nothing out to talk about but butt stuff yeah can we just anytime people are just talking about random stuff can we just refer to it as butt stuff butt stuff yeah i'm, yeah. I'm down for that awesome we should, <laughs> we should do we should do uh, a skit and call it butt stuff and then like basically <laughs> what it could be is like Two of us coming up with ideas and talking with, and then we just say, but at this and like, so we just like have this whole trail of ideas to like try to come up with a video idea maybe. And then it just, it leads into just a lot of us saying, but this, I like it. And then what we do is we record the audio of us doing all that. And then we send it to toll so that he has to script it out. And then he has to do all of the planning for the shots for it. And then he turns it into a machinima for us. I'm sure he would love that. And then he has to go find two other voice actors because we're too busy, and he's got to somehow replicate the way that we did it with the other voice actors. Oh, yeah, that's that's such a great job. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so awful. I would hate that. <laughs> I'm but, not, I wouldn't hate it because <laughs> I'd just be like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Busy toll, go find someone else. But then anytime we find somebody, we have to be like super critical. Like, like mm. just find the smallest, dumbest detail that um, you know, we don't like. Eh, I don't know. He says he says funny kind of weird. He says like funny. I don't like that. That's not how I say it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that wouldn't be good. We'd have to fix that. 
And we'd have to fix that. Man, my download speed, I'm almost at four gigabytes already. Really? Your download speed's way better than mine. I think I, I had to let mine sit for about half an hour to an hour. Really? Yeah, no, this will be done before our podcast. This says 13 minutes left. That's awesome. Yeah, no, I uh, I pay for uh, AT&T Fiber. And oh, then... you're on your computer. I was doing it through my phone, so it was the wireless oh, download. Oh, yeah. No, I, I'm on my computer, but... I'm technically too far for my router, so my Wi-Fi would be garbage, but I have this one thing called power line adapters. You basically you plug it into your outlet, and then you plug an Ethernet cable into that from your computer, so it gives you a stable connection like you're manually in hardwire. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's super cool. I highly recommend it for anybody who doesn't like Wi-Fi, but wants a stable connection. It's, it's well worth it. Well, you heard it here first, folks. That's right. We're sponsored by <laughs> Powerline. Yeah, your number yeah. one power line. For, for <laughs> Wi-Fi. That's technically a hard wire. It's a weird marriage. Okay, I want... I've, I've always hated the Dark Souls games. But what? I... I, I just I've, I've, I just don't they're too tough for me and I don't care I don't have the patience to they're <laughs> too <through>. tough <laughs> but, at least you're honest but I want I want a fire emblem game but made dark souls style oh, oh oh let me do you one better what about a final fantasy game in a dark, dark are you going to tell me final fantasy 7 remake no I'm going to tell you final fantasy 16 what? The newest Final Fantasy. They announced it for the PlayStation 5 event. It looks, it's like old school Final Fantasy where it's in medieval times and stuff. Like like episode, like uh, Final Fantasy 1 through 6 where it's all medieval and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it's very Dark World, in, or dark, I keep saying Dark World, Dark Souls inspired. Like really? you got large, very like um, gothic looking monsters and stuff. It mm -hmm. looks really good, man. I, I'm telling you, like, I think you'd really enjoy it. That might be my introduction to the Dark Souls stuff. Honestly, if you don't like Dark Souls, I would try Bloodborne. Oh, you have maybe. a PlayStation, right? Yeah, I've got it all. Yeah, so I mean, Bloodborne, I wasn't the biggest fan of Dark Souls 2. Um, but not because like I thought it was hard. I just, it's very slow. Oh, okay. Um, so with the slowness, I got bored easier. Um, but dark bloodborne is more fast pace. Uh, okay. And actually, so, and the funny thing is, is bloodborne actually punishes you for trying to play it like dark souls. It doesn't work as well. Oh, okay. Cause no, I played, I mean, I've, the first dark souls and I, I played the first two. Okay. Cause I, when I, I was playing it, I one. played for like five, 10 minutes or whatever it was. And I was wandering around exploring different stuff. Like, oh, this is really cool. And then I went down yeah. a hallway and there was a group of skeletons. And I'm like, all right, I got this. And then I, I attacked them twice and then nope. they killed me. And then it yep. took me all the way back five, 10 minutes ago to the very beginning. I'm just like, no, nope, no. Nope. And I just yep. shut it off. <laughs> I never, <laughs> I never yeah. played it again since. So, I mean, it's. Bloodborne is similar in the sense, but it's it's at least faster paced, so it doesn't feel as daunting. I would get, I would say, mm -hmm. if that makes sense at all. So yeah, like you can definitely sense. go through it a lot faster. Because I think I watched the Game Grumps play Bloodborne. I love Bloodborne. The funniest thing about it is because I didn't like Dark Souls. My group of friends at the time I was playing games and stuff with, they were super hyped for Bloodborne. And I was super critical. I'm like, wow, this game looks dumb. It's probably going to be garbage. I was like looking at the animation. I'm like, the animation doesn't look very good. <laughs> then I played it. And I'm like, wow. Despite the animation, it feels really good. Like just mechanically, I really enjoyed it. And I obsessed over it. And I was the only one out of all my friends to platinum the game. Well, isn't this the one? This is the game where your mom said, wow, I thought you were good at video games. Yes. Yeah, this is. Bloodborne's one of the few games to ever make me like rage so much. <laughs> uh, I almost rage quit. Yeah, I I've had oh, I I've got a couple story. good stories. Yeah, that one I, I remember being on the road. I had a noise complaint and a hotel threatened to kick me <laughs> yeah. out because I was too loud. And then the other one, my mom, yeah, said I thought you were good at video games. She trolled me. It was awful. But the best part is she didn't, she wasn't trolling. I think she was just like, "Wow, this is dumb." <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. Mom's just judging me because I wasted time playing video games instead of taking her to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Ah, whatever. 
She'll understand someday in the future. Yeah, one day. One day. She'll get it. Yeah. If not, whatever. But so, no, I uh, I highly recommend Bloodborne if you want to get in Dark Souls. Um, and yeah. Hopefully they come out with Bloodborne 2 for the PS5. I'll probably wait till the Final Fantasy one. Okay. And then I'll probably play Bloodborne and never play Dark Souls. <laughs> I don't blame you. Don't blame Maybe you. the third one. Maybe the third one. Yeah, the third Dark Souls is a blend, I would say. It's definitely closer to Bloodborne. Like, they took some mechanics out of there and implemented it. So you kind of can have options on how you want to play. As the first two Dark Souls are just more of block, attack. Now, now block and hold it until you get an opening to attack again. All right, now attack. <laughs> It's a it's a, what a it's a unique a unique type of game. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It definitely uh you need a special kind of person to be into it. Yeah. But uh what what have you been up to during our our 6 month break, Ben? What how's oh, life? Man. Uh it's been good. Lots of work. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's fine. It's winding. Well, it's picking up and then it's going to wind down. Got, I mean, it's not over, but you survived the apocalypse so far, so that's good. Well, yeah, my job I had a job throughout the whole pop apocalypse. I never had to worry, which was nice. That is good. So I, I'm, I was one of the, the lucky few. And, I mean, it also or unlucky, in depending on your point of view. <laughs> not going to lie, there were a few moments where I was just like, come on, just shut down the course. Just let me for sit like at a home few weeks. And take in that government money, you know? Just yeah. give, give yeah. it to me. Just so, give me some. Cause I had a couple friends that were just like, oh man, I just bought these new games. I'm like, how? You don't have a job. They're like, man, the government bought me video games. Me too. I had a couple friends who were like, um, they're just kind of like in between jobs and they're just working like minimum wage jobs. And I had my nephew specifically, he worked literally 10 hours a week because he was also going to school. And he met. During that time frame, he made more money than me because they gave him like the full unemployment amount he could get. That's amazing. Yeah. What's well, even uh, like those yeah, it was trash so amazing. pandas in the Discord that we've got? Those guys, <laughs> when everything was going on, they're all talking about what they're gonna spend their money on. I'm like, no, I you know. idiots. That's not what this is for. And they're just sitting there with their little trash panda hands, rubbing them up and down their trash panda slimy legs, going, "All right, look at all these video games I'm gonna spend them on." Yeah, just right. Not gonna lie, I'd do the same thing. I mean, yeah, I probably would have too. <laughs> <laughs> Because that was around the time where I was like, maybe I should upgrade my computer. <laughs> yep. That was the same thing. I was like, oh, man, I could buy so many new things. <sighs> it would have been nice. It would have but, been. Uh, but no, we had to work. <laughs> yeah. It sucked. <laughs> but no, but I mean, I've been, uh, uh, yeah, I've been doing lots yeah. of work, playing some yeah. different video games, streaming. Any, uh, anything, s- anything significant kind of stand out to you during this time? Um, I actually, yeah, I made a decision I never thought I would make. Okay. And I am now, my stream has become a one life challenge. A one life challenge. What does that mean? Well, when I'm playing a game, if I die, I put the game away and I never pick it up on stream again. Really? Yeah, I'm currently playing through the original Borderlands. <laughs> and if I die, so I will die. never pick up that game on stream again. Interesting. That's it, like, I, that's kind of interesting, but also kind of like annoying. I guess if I was terrifying. a viewer, I, I guess if I was, a, for you, yeah, I could see that. But like, as a viewer, I'd be like annoyed, like, just try it again. Just be better. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, that, I don't know. I'm playing around with it because yeah. I like. There have been, it's really changed my approach to playing video games. Are you more, how so? Are you like more cautious? Are you more aggressive or? I'm, I'm a little bit more cautious. I plan yeah. and think a little bit more about going into stuff. Okay. Uh, but it's, it's, I don't know. It's just, it's a strange intensity. Yeah. 
that's 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 incredible i also again i also i always say i don't believe in luck i think people who say i'm a luck, they're lucky or that they're they gotta correct their luck because they've gone through an unlucky streak i think they're stupid and uh but <laughs> i could just I, say you were fortunate but somehow somehow in the last stream i mm. should have died at least 12 times i got okay. down to to basically almost full health, getting hit by one thing, dropping me down to 10 HP left. Yeah. And, and so what game was this? A sliver. This is Borderlands. So oh, okay. going down to like a sliver of health left so many times in incredible situations that I managed to just barely get out of. That nice. it just, it felt amazing. That's awesome. So that means eventually you're going to play the new Amnesia, right? The new Amnesia coming out and... Go through uh, that until you at least die once. It came up in my recommended. <laughs> oh, really? It looks it looks terrifying. You're playing as a girl this time. I know. And there's a whole bunch of these weird, creepy underground cavern things. And Man, she doesn't I'll have a lantern. Like, she holds a match. Yep, you got to do it. And no, it's not happening. I, I would love to guest star with you, Otto. I just, <laughs> just want to play Amnesia with you, Spen. No, it's not going to happen. Have you seen this new horror game that's come out a little while ago? It's Seems to be taken a bit by storm, where it's okay. about you entering into a haunted house with up to four other friends, and you guys are like ghost catchers, where you've got all the like the the tools and gear to go and like find the ghosts with like the the little devices and cameras and setting up just like a TV like the TV shows. No, but you're going through trying to find the ghost and get through it, um, and depending on. I think you go to the same house every time, but it's random with different things when you load into it. So there's different kinds of spirits. There's different kinds of ghosts. Some are, sometimes things are a little more like passive. Some of them are is very it, aggressive and they'll try to kill you. Ghost hunt? Um, I could find out for you. A couple that of friends were awesome streaming. though. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, it's because you've talked about those ghost shows before, like the television shows. Yeah. Uh, and people going through trying to find ghosts. They set up the equipment so they can hear different things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, this one, it's it's basically like a TV show. The one neat thing is you're not supposed to use like Discord or something like that. You're supposed to use the in-game chat because the ghosts and spirits will affect your voice. What? And they'll talk. Sometimes they'll like, maybe they'll talk to you. But I know if you're trying to communicate with other people, sometimes yeah. it'll mess up what you're trying to say. So they'll, all they'll hear is like, coming in through the mic because the ghost is creating interference. And that's part okay. of the experience of the game is that's it cool. messing things up. And so if you oh, gather information. This is not the game I'm looking at right now. I need to find that game, but. I'm, gonna, I'm looking for the name thing. of it right now. But if you okay, you go through gathering information, going yeah. back to your van so that you can d deliver the information or whatever it is or figure out stuff and then make money so you can buy different tools and gear. So it's it's like a there is progression to the game. So you can get okay. better and get better tools and upgrade kind of your experience of getting these different ghosts because there's yeah. diff so many different tools that are only for certain situations. Yeah. And it's really, really cool. Okay. That is not what I found. So at first I thought it was Midnight Ghost Hunt. So I looked that up because I, I was Googling like Ghost Hunter game. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Midnight Ghost Hunt is a different game I found. Check it out. It's basically a 4v4 prop hunt game, but the props fight back. So like they, uh, they can possess props and then hit you with them. This looks awesome. Yeah. Did you find the Midnight Ghost Hunt trailer? <laughs> That's really Steam? cool. We got to play that. Yeah, we do. We need to look it up. Is it on Another Coffee one you got to check out is Witch It. As Witch in like it? like a witch? Yeah. Why does, why does Coffee Stains seem familiar? Why is that? I believe they did... Didn't they do Satisfactory or something like that? Yeah, they just asked. Me, that's why they seem familiar. Yeah, there's another one's called Witch It, and that that Witch one's it. it's more of like the whimsical cartoony thing where it's like witches that are going through, and it, again, it's yeah. another prop hunt one. But the witches can like fly around on brooms and walk around, and then people turn into like the little objects, and you yeah. just the way they like tumble and move around, it looks really looks really really cool. 
I'm looking at Midnight Ghost Hunt on Steam right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, it hasn't come out yet. It's to be announced still. Oh, uh, so I'll have to add that to the oh. watch list then. Yeah, me too. When when it comes out, we should get that. That seems like it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think so too. There's so many great oh, games. So. Uh, Phasmophobia. Is that is that the game you're talking about? Yeah, PH uh, for Phasmophobia. I'll message message it to you. Phasmophobia. I don't think I'm gonna play it. I don't really have any interest in it because there are there are moments where there's different like spirits or demon type things that materialize and attack you, and it's like very jump scary. Oh come on, man! If like if I can convince everybody else to do it, will you do it with us? Like if we need a fourth guy, come on. Tell you what, if you convince four people to play with you, I'll be the fifth guy. No, I, I have a feeling there's only four people. So. <laughs> How about if I convince two other people to play with me? I'll 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 think about it. If you buy the so game for is me, it that an it AI does... ghost? How much yeah, is the game? Th- there's no person that's the, the ghost of the spirit. And there's a a bunch of different kinds. So every time you go into the house, you don't know what it's gonna be. Okay. All or right. where it is or all enough. these different things. Is it on Steam? It is on Steam. That's how that's how most of the people that I know have been playing it. It's only fourteen dollars. I will buy you the game, Spen. No, don't Easy. buy me it because if you buy me the game, it does not guarantee I'm going to play it. You may be wasting your money. No, you got to play it, man. No, no. <laughs> Come on. But what about you? What have you been up to since the last podcast? Uh so I played Final Fantasy VII remake. Yeah, that was a pretty big part of my life. It was. Um, I absolutely love that game. It's phenomenal. Uh, it's it literally it hit my expectations and exceeded them in many categories. I I haven't heard the opposite of that. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's super good. Also, um, Last of Us Two came out. I I dedicated a lot of time to that game. How how did you find uh, it? So that's harder to explain. Like, um. The first Last of Us I love because like it it just took you on this emotional roller coaster with these characters and you fall in love with these characters and everything. Mm-hmm. And then the second one tears you apart like so, a like, golf it's... club to the face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, <laughs> just like that. I I literally had a moment like after that scene happened. I like I actually cried. Like I don't cry much. Mm-hmm. And but there's been a few video games that do make me cry. Like um, the first game that was Final Fantasy VII when I was a kid. Um, the second one was actually The Last of Us, and so The Last of Us Two. I I literally sobbed over that moment. Like after that scene happened, there's a part where you're just sitting there staring at it, reflecting on what happened. I literally stopped playing for like ten minutes and just sobbed about it. Like I felt like I lost a family member. It was really, they did a really good job at making it heart wrenching. And I was yeah. furious and angry. And like, those are obviously intentional things that the game wanted to do. Um, well, I don't think the story of this game holds up as well as the first game. I still want to say that it was just as important. Like, it's still very impactful to me. Like, the fact that the video game makes me feel something. Mm-hmm. I think it's doing a successful job. Um, mechanically, it was about the same. They added a few new mechanics into the game that I thought were pretty exciting. Um, I actually enjoyed the ending of the game a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, just okay. in terms of like uh, gameplay aspect, I kind of wish there was more of that throughout the whole game. They just did a couple things different that they didn't... like. Why wouldn't you have this in the beginning or in the middle or something? It was just... I, I just thought it was more exciting that way. Um, I don't know. I, I, after I played the game, I was very exhausted Mm -hmm. and I just, I just kind of did nothing for the rest of the day. (laughs) I just kind of like just sat and contemplated like what I went through is it is a very emotionally distraught game. I'll say that like, and it, it it dragged a lot out of me. It's a very hard game to go through. Um, especially cause I binged it. Like I didn't like play a little bit at a time. I just did it all at once. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, 
I'm I'm open to the third one if they make a third one. See what happens. I'm very Do you think curious. they will? Um. Yes. I, do. I don't. I don't think they will. I think they'll. I also haven't seen the ending. I mean, I think they will. Uh, I think Neil Druckmann probably doesn't want to. Uh, the director, but I think Naughty Dog will do it. Okay. One because there's a lot of backlash on the game. It's very controversial, as you know, probably. Well, yeah, because they. I mean, s- spoilers. <laughs> yeah. If you don't like spoilers? Skip ahead like four minutes. Yeah. But. The, uh, yeah, cause the, they, you watch him die and then they make you shortly after play for the character that killed him. That's shortly after. It's kind of weird. So wasn't it shortly after? Knew, no. So I knew Joel was going to die. Like I knew going into this game, I was like, I just had a gut feeling. He's going to die. I need to prepare myself for this. Yeah. I didn't expect it to happen as soon as it did. Um, oh, that's right, because it happens pretty early on. It happens very early on, like the first chapter. <laughs> oh, that's right, because you play as him. You don't play as him. You don't? You play, I thought you play you as play him as and then... the girl who kills him. Well, no, because I thought you play as him at the beginning. You play then, as... Oh, I, I haven't, I've only seen bits and pieces of it from another stream. So you play as Ellie in the beginning, and then you play as Abby, who is the one who kills Joel. So mm-hmm. you just play as her. And then you play as Ellie, and then Joel dies. Like, that's it. Like, that's it right there. Um, And then it's just, you play as Ellie for, like, 20 hours, right? Yeah. So, like, I'm almost 20 hours in this game. Ellie's story is coming up to a conclusion against Abby, and then it just cuts. And then you play as Abby's perspective from that entire time. Yeah. Until you get to that conclusion. And then the worst part is, is, like, at that point, I hate Abby. (laughs) <laughs> like, yeah. like you just build 20 hours of hatred towards this character and then they force you to play her so like i was super salty playing this character like i cared very little for her story because i just hated her but they do a couple things to kind of make you side with her um and the, but the worst part is is when they finally meet uh you you fight ellie as abby like you they force you to be l uh abby fighting ellie <laughs> yeah so, uh, I don't know, I, I think there's some weird choices made. Uh, director-wise, I probably would have done it a little differently if I if I had to choose, like, how the story progressed. Mm-hmm. Just paste it differently, I guess. Like, maybe if they... I personally would have killed Joel later in the game, I think. Um, but, whatever. I, I, no. I don't know, I don't agree with some choices, but I understand, like, why they did it, and they're telling a very real story of... There's not always a happy ending (laughs) and uh, you're not always satisfied. So I get that Uh, as much as I don't like it. I get it and I respect it. So I do think they will make a third one Um, mostly because of the backlash. And I think Naughty Dog will force the third one out. However, Neil Druckmann may not be the director or at least the main director. Because in the first one, he co-directed. Okay. But we'll see. See, I think if they do more of The Last of Us, it's going to be different characters, different story. It's not going to be Ellie anymore. Okay. I think it's going to be maybe something else happening at the same time, maybe earlier on at the beginning, maybe something farther farther on um, in the future, but it's going to be different characters in a different location. That's fair. I mean, that might be the best route to go, honestly. But it's hard when you get attached to certain characters, you know? No. Just they, like, they if, do a fantastic if they did another, like, if they did another Uncharted, the only way I would accept another Uncharted is if it's Drake's daughter, and then Drake is kind of like your Sully. Oh, I want that so badly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, though. Like, she was so cool of a character in the game, too. She was a cool character. You only got, a, like, a small tease of her, but... That's that is the only other way I would accept Uncharted that isn't Drake, mm-hmm. you know. But hundred percent. I mean, they did kind of test the waters with Chloe and the other girl. I never played that one. Was it good? It was. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was well received too. So I mean, in that world, it worked for those characters. But I don't think they could do another Uncharted game 
without Drake's family as the main, you know, focus, you know? Yeah. No, that makes sense. It would be... It would definitely be weird because he's... you. He is Uncharted. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Indiana Jones without Indiana Jones. Yeah. Granted, although technically you could remove Indiana Jones from his movie and it would play out exactly the same. <laughs> I thought that was just the one movie. Just the first one, yeah. But not, I don't know about the other three, but the very first one, yeah, you could technically take him out of the movie. and He does nothing to the plot. Which is kind of neat. I love that about the movie. Like, uh, and most most movies these days, people would complain about that. Like, that's a terrible plot. Like, the plot doesn't exist. It, there's no reason for this character to exist. Well, sometimes that's just how it works. Well, I think if someone can spot that stuff and that's what they're complaining about, there were other problems with the story. Yeah. That, do, think, that didn't hook them in, where they weren't emotionally invested or something like that with the character. I think the idea is just as long as your characters are compelling, you can kind of get away with any story. Yeah, that's that's why we get away with some of the stories that we have. It's yeah, because I mean, people our, like our characters. Our, our writing is terrible, but people like our stupid characters. So. Yeah, it's, <laughs> somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so what else have you been up to besides The Last of Us? Other than that, man, just working away. Been writing a lot. Well, that's good. Yeah, very excited. You know, uh, you know, we've been doing uh, Cowboy Bridged. Uh, I love doing that. That's a lot of fun. I'm a huge Cowboy Bebop fan. Yeah. And so doing a, a bridge version of it is very exciting, and I enjoy the challenge. Um, it's that, been really well received, too. Yeah, I, I, I'm I pretty grateful for that. Uh, yeah, people are I, really liking it. I'm always super nervous when I release an episode. I think, like, oh, man, this is going to be the episode everyone hates. <laughs> it, it hasn't happened yet, but <laughs> I've got 26 episodes to go through. Uh, don't worry, um, you'll be able to mess up one of them eventually. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll be there to rub it in your face. That's right. Yeah. But uh, other good. than that, I mean, writing next to nothing. I do think I'm actually becoming a better writer. You know, I, I so. always tell people I think I'm a bad writer. I still think I'm a bad writer, but I think I'm better. So I'm like, I'm not a good writer, but I'm not terrible anymore. Well, talking I'm, about amazing writing. Yeah. I love that mech short that just came out. Oh, yeah? That I, was, um, that's Toll's brainchild. He did a good yeah, job. Like, the writing was really well done. Thane did an amazing job with that character where I really yep. just, I, I got sucked into the character. I was just like, all right, this is, I love this. If and you then, love that, you'll you'll love the Satisfactory series too. Then I I've There's, been enjoying the Satisfactory series. Satisfactory too. got spawned, or spawned because of that episode. Yeah, <laughs> but it's just I love so. the setup for it, and then just yeah. the way the mech like jumps down and then takes. Oh a yeah, step it's so forward. dramatic. It's so it's so well done. Mm-hmm. And then it's, it's just the the typical fashion where they're worthless. I love it. It was yeah. really good. Toll did a great job. Toll's got really good uh, comedic timing, and mm -hmm. he, our show would be nothing without him because he, he knows how to take the No Man's Sky stuff and really implement it in. Because yeah, we don't. Know I know about nothing no about no. <laughs> I know nothing about No Man's Sky. There's nothing wrong <laughs> with that though. It's it's funny because we argue when we write over things like he's um he wants to implement implement more No Man's Sky stuff. I'm like. None of our audience are No Man's Sky fans. I don't know anything about it. It's stupid. Uh, I That's... think all of them are. Not all of them. We actually have a lot of Red versus Blue fans. So that is true. We have. We do have a lot of. I. We do have a lot of people who say they play No Man's Sky after they watch our show. So that's kind of cool. Oh, like, that's awesome! I didn't know that. I. I always feel super honored when I when somebody says that. Like Sigma, he never played No Man's Sky until uh, he saw our show. Oh, yeah, but Sigma's amazing. Sigma's a cool Sigma. guy. It's true, he is. He's probably one of the best fans. No, anybody who listens this far, well, sorry, Sigma's better. But nobody <laughs> listens this far into our podcast, besides probably Sigma. So, Sigma, <laughs> here you go. Uh, Sigma, <laughs> you can reach out to Toll and he'll give you $5. Yes, Toll, Toll will give you $5 roonies. Yeah. Did you see... Did you see all the stuff going on in the Discord about the sentient plate of lasagna? Yes. Like, I was, this I was guy, weird today. I liked it, it, though. 
Well, that's just this Who one is? guy. He's been he's been in our Discord for a couple weeks now. Well, yeah, because I mean, there's no way to not recognize sentient plate of lasagna as a name. Right, I've seen him around for a while, a... but I thought he was somebody else that changed the name to that, and I couldn't figure out who he was. No, no, that's how he came in. He oh. came in and literally went, "Hello, I am an intelligent plate of lasagna." Like that's how he introduced himself. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So he already came in with a uh, you know heck of a personality. That's great. Yeah, it's pretty good. He's already helped us film. Uh, I don't know if you remember him, but he was one of the people who was a body actor. Was he one of the ones when we did the chase scene, zipping it out like the Scooby Doo stuff? No, no. Recently, the most recent one we did. Oh, okay. Where we were underwater and such. Oh, he was in there. Yeah. He was oh, one of that's the awesome. Yeah. I gotta pay was, more attention uh... to that kind of stuff. That's all right. We all have our things, Ben. I mean, <laughs> that's fine. When I showed up for that, I basically had it minimized most of the time, and I was editing some other stuff. Yeah, I figured, and that's fine. <laughs> but uh, it's just nice to have bodies that we can put in the background. Mm -hmm. But you, I know one thing you have been doing during this time. You've been you've been writing your own script. I have Toga, been. Toga. Yeah. Have we even really uh, talked about it at all? We've never talked about it. Oh, like we should set a release date for it. Let's do it right now. Um, right now? Oh my god! Right now. When are we? Today's the third. When's Cowboy yep. Bridge coming out next? Not till next month. So it comes out on like the first week or something like uh, that. Uh, yeah, probably around the first week. Well, let's do. Uh, two weeks. So the sixteenth. Uh, we usually read this on Fridays, right? Yeah, let's do the 16th. 16th of October, uh, wow. Tower of God abridged. <laughs> you heard it here first, everybody. Tower of God abridged, 16th I gotta write of that down. October. <laughs> All right. I really hope you're close to being done, then. <laughs> I am pretty darn close to being done. Oh, okay, okay. Otherwise, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have done this. <laughs> I, I figured. Remember when we first talked about it? Like, we, the anime had just come out... Um, like, man, it's taking the world by storm. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, Sven, what do you think about Tower of God Bridge? And you're like, oh my god, I was gonna talk to you about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, someone beat us to it. There's two of them out there right now, I think. Oh, so you've been doing your research. Yeah, there are two. One of them's got 3,000 views, and the other's got 2,000 views. That's okay. They're garbage compared to what we've got. Is is it? I mean, they're not terrible. They're, I'm not a fan of them, though. But they're also shorter, and they... It's... I don't know. I feel like you did an amazing job on your abridged, where it was more than just abridging. It was telling a story. And you've got yeah. the story that's going on with it. Whereas the abridged... The, those, the two Tower of a God abridged that I saw, it's... I mean, they're not bad. This, they don't yeah. have that that part that makes them like yeah this is great you know well hopefully we can do this a similar thing with tower god where we come up with yeah. a, a nice story of retelling our own way well <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll see <laughs> i'm very excited though uh um, i am we've all uh, that's I'm... left to do is to get some sound effects put in yeah with some music in the background and i've got to finalize what we're going to do for the commercial part. Oh, okay. Did you ever find somebody for that? Toll actually has a really good voice. Did he do a great job? He really did a good job. Oh, man, I'm excited now. I, well, I got to submit my line as well. I As soon as I said, hey, I want to do that, I got sick. So, Well, the best uh, part about it was the day before... So there was one day where Toll was talking about different stuff and someone was talking about voices. Yeah. And Toll's like, oh, I've got really great voice for this. And then you come in, you're just like, yeah, Toll says he's got a great voice for everything. So, you know, we'll see. But that's what Toll does. He says he's great at everything. It wasn't those exact <laughs> words, but it was along those lines. Yeah, the next much. day, I'm like, yeah, I've just got to get this. And then this is going, Toll's like, oh, I've got a great monster truck voice. <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, sure, send it my way. And it, it was amazing. That's like, the thing. Like, I, I give 
there was in no part of that was I thinking Toll was gonna do a bad job because Toll usually does a pretty darn awesome job with different things. But I he, give Toll a lot of shit about it, but he really is good at a yeah. lot of voices. That's the thing. Like he yeah. he actually is very good at a lot of voices. I just like to give him shit because. I like to tell him he's conceited and stuff just because he, <laughs> he always thinks of himself as the first cast. Like, I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. I'm like, that's great if you're your own channel, Toll, but we're trying to, like, branch out and get people to work with us and stuff. <laughs> I was like, you got to think of others. Well, no, he does. He does, but it is true. He does do a really good – he also works really hard at it, but he does a really he good does. job with a lot of voices. Yes. Yes. And he's the best voice actor out of all of us. There is going to be a day where we write a series and Toll voices everything in it. Partially <gasps> we because should do that. <laughs> partially because it's funny, but also because he's just got it such a wide range of all these different things. You no, know, Spen, we should do a one off. Let's find an anime where it has like eight characters, eight or nine characters, all right? Eighty characters. Eighty nine characters. Okay. Eighty nine <laughs> characters. And then we'll just do a one off episode and we'll say Toll. You're voicing every character. He'll, one, panic. <laughs> he'll be like, what? He'll shit himself about it. But then he'll try it, and it will be amazing. It'll be amazing. Oh, did he also do that uh, That the, 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 the sultry thing you asked yep. about? Yep, oh, he man. did that did too. Did he do a good job at it? Was yeah, it he did exactly oh, what man. I was looking for for it. I, I know exactly what it's for, because when, when you sent the... Um, uh, when you sent the... the uh, uh, rough draft. When you sent the rough draft of it, uh, and I'm like, oh, I saw it because you were voicing it. I'm like, oh, I know this one. This one's tolls. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I want to be a couple background voices too for the the rock scene uh, where he's trying to bust through the floor and stuff. Yeah, that's fine. I, right now, I just have it as the two things that I put in there. Yeah, uh, I want to help with that, and then also some of your uh, auditor. Oh, I'd love <laughs> yeah. to help with that too. I think that's a lot of fun. So I, there's a couple places we should talk about this after the podcast. But there's a couple yeah. I wanted to talk to you about this episode. I have a few ideas that I think can help, uh, and I'd love to help. Get yeah, that's fine. Here. I mean, and you could have sent them as notes as well. <laughs> I honestly forgot to do notes. No, it's so all I good. can write all that down for you as well. I just I, just, I only say that because I sent up the thing. You're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do notes for you, and then like, I know, a and week I got later, you're like, oh, I forgot to do notes. Don't worry, I'm gonna send them to you after I'm doing this next thing. And then I forgot <laughs> to do it again. Now you know how it feels, spend when I ask for lines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, someone uh, became a trash panda in the Discord. What? Someone became a trash panda. Yeah, someone's a trash panda right now. Oh man, who's the trash pain? I uh, he put F in chat. Sebastian. Hi Sebastian. Oh, they actually have a picture. I see. Yeah. They have a picture of a trash panda. They're so he cute. He does. Okay. It's their it's their little hands. How cool would this be? Okay. There's been many times where conversations have happened in the Discord about people starting a war and all these different f battles and things. Yeah. How cool would it be? I've been doing some research on different tabletop systems that deal with large scale war. And how sweet would it be to build a little world that's like the geeks actively making entertainment world. And then we throw in like a couple different like land masses and then people from the discord, like we have like Fibs can have his little section or whatever. Other people can have their section, and we can slowly start building up this game universe. I do with air quotations, and then have like little events where people can like message into a chat, like, "All right, this is what my forces are doing. Like, this is yeah. what my people are doing." And we could have people that are in charge of like their own countries. There could be other people that band together. There could be somebody that's just like, "I." Want be a farmer and then he just kind of like farms off in the distance yeah. just in his own little plot <laughs> of land we can have some little stuff where we send him information about how his farm's doing that's great we should do that and then we can we can have all the continents they're named after game members so people can like put their their lands into certain continents because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it'd be kind of sweet to do that and then have it so that things change and progress over time so with fibs is a very aggressive guy he's gonna try and start attacking other places so and expanding his land and let him make a game him version of clash of clans but with all of our community members yeah yeah nice i like that i'm on board now because i think it'd be a lot of fun to do something like that and then set up a map and then we can have um our own little uh what's it 
oh shoot, this is gonna sound really dumb. What's it called? That like union thing that all the countries are a part of? Oh, the European Union. I think so. It's something like that. I believe it's something? called the European. The Union. The World Congress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the World Congress. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. World something like that. Totally. So we'll have something like that where everybody can like start talking about things, and we can we can add in different like events or yeah. little uh, things like that. We gotta. We gotta name ours something dumb though. So it'd be like the World Congress Group of People. That's what it would be. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I was kind of thinking it'd be neat too if we set up a few different things as well. There definitely yeah. has to be like a, a land where everybody is lasagna. <laughs> everybody. It's just a land of lasagna. It's just yeah. like every time they walk you to. <laughs> yeah, with like lasagna people and lasagna creatures. And oh man. That'd be there funny. has to be. Or sorry, not lasagna people, sentient. <laughs> Lasagna. No, yeah, so here's the thing. <laughs> Everything looks like a piece of lasagna, right? So, like, you got las- sentient lasagna people, and then you got, like, lasagna dogs and lasagna cats. But to everyone else, they all look the same. However, anytime you point them out, like, hey, look at that lasagna person, they get offended, like, excuse me, I'm a lasagna cat. Thank you very much. And they just continue <laughs> on their way. I like it. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm, I'll reach out to... Um, it's been a while since I've talked to him. Oh, God, I'm going to feel like a jerk now. I forgot his name. Talk to who? Uh, Smiley. (laughs) Smiley, yeah. For a while, Smiley was doing, um, he was really big into drawing, like, maps and stuff like that. Oh, okay. So I'll reach out to him and I'll be like, hey, draw us a world map of a Do it now or you're fired. Again. Yeah. We already fired him. We'll, we'll hire him as our cartographer. <laughs> we'll fire him. Yeah, and then we'll fire him. <coughs> but only after we give him the job. So, like, mm-hmm. we'll give him the job before we hire him. And then if he doesn't do it, we'll hire him and then fire him on the spot. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, Nab, he's always denied it every time. But his name was Nabziff. Where yeah. when you when it's the other way around, it's Fizban. Yeah. And Fizban's this name, the name of a character from Dragonlance. He's like uh, this old wizard that ex- travels around with people. Where later on you find out he's like this deity, and it was always Fizban the wizard. But now he's Nabcat the wizard. So he definitely was always a Dragonlance reference. Because when we had the Minecraft server, someone kept breaking into my house and leaving Dragonlance references about the characters or different things going on in the chests that I had. Oh my god! And it was a Hundred percent him. Oh my god! Do you think Nab's like the secret? He's just well, because the joke first that time pulling on you the whole time. The first time he was in Discord, and yeah. it was like Nabziff, and I was like, "Are you a Dragonlance fan? Like that's Fizzman." He's like, "No, no, no, no." So I was just like, "All right, maybe not." But now I know for sure he is. I love, I love that this is the thing. I really, really hope he never admits it, just because this would be the longest con ever. (laughs) Or, even if he's wrong, the fact that you're paranoid about it it makes it even better. (laughs) Okay, well then explain to me why some anyone else would have known to, oh, I'm going to break into only Spencer's house and leave Dragonlance references... In I mean, the have chest. you told anybody else this before? Well, just you and now everyone who listened to the podcast to this point. I, I guess. I mean, if I had just known about that, not going to lie, I would do that. Like, if you thought Nab did it, like, I, obviously <laughs> not going to do it now that I'm telling you. But I would honestly <laughs> do that are. every game. Every game we ever played together where Nab is involved, I would 100% create a scenario to set him up. No. Yeah. And make you think it was him. <laughs> I would now I'm never gonna know, and I'm always I'm never gonna be able to know for sure. <laughs> and that's the best part. Like that's yeah. what I love. The fact that you're never gonna know for sure makes it the best. I see how it is. I'm gonna remember. <laughs> this. Well, I mean, if you just play amnesia with me, Spin, that's I have no problem being happen. more honest with you. <laughs> oh, what was it? I uh, my community convinced me to play. God, what was it? Outlast? Uh, the first or second one? The first one. Okay. And then I, I, it was terrifying. <laughs> and I I did some research into it after. Outlast is considered to be one of the scariest games. Yeah, it's highly reviewed. Yeah, it's a scary game. I think Amnesia's better. I think I played it for Amnesia, like three or four hours. Uh, 
the first amnesia I think has a lot more random chance involved. And so the fact that it's not scripted, 100% scripted, I think makes it scarier in my opinion. What um, what Outlast does better than any other horror game that I've seen uh, or played is the this the ambiance of the game. Yeah, because it's in an asylum, so like nothing's really creepier than but an asylum. Not not just that though, but how the character interacts with things, how you always hear him breathing, and the rate of it, oh, and how it adjusts yeah. and changes to things that are going on. Well, that's and, what I liked uh, about. It's just that's... amazing. Well, that's what I also another thing I loved about Amnesia, right? So, like, when we were playing, Daniel, remember, he'd, like, freak out at certain points. Like, uh, you hear a noise, and Daniel would start to lose his shit, and then he'd start to hallucinate bugs and hallucinate other noises that you would hear. So, like, the crazier he got, the scarier it gets because you don't know what's real or not anymore. That is true. So, so that's what I really loved about Amnesia. And I'm really hoping this third one really carries that through because Machine for Pigs I don't think was as good. That's what you were saying, because we played a little bit of that on your channel. Yeah, and I just, like, sped right through it and freaked yeah. it out. It was, I mean, it was the, one of the better horror experiences that I've had. Yeah. But it was also and I'm telling you, man, just play the third one. Half the time one. it was blurry, and I couldn't see what was going on. But I didn't say anything. One. I would love to sit in with you. It's not going to happen. Come on, man. It's, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to give up. That's I'm, fine. I would love... You know, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start coming to all your streams, and I'm going to take over. And I'm going to become <laughs> a dictator in your community, and I'm going to have everyone demand that you play it. Tell you I'm what. Gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create, like, this whole, like, uh, this whole experience. We're all going to petition against you, and we're just going to, like, uh, I don't know, threaten you in some way until you play it. <laughs> it see, here's the tough part. Even if we ended up doing this full time, and then it was part of my, I was going to be paid as part of my job to play through it. I still don't know if I would do it. Is, that's, that's a thing, man. Like I'm not, I, okay. So real talk right now, like that's been something in my back pocket for a very long time. <laughs> like when game becomes successful, we're going to have a dedicated part of game is Ben has to play horror games and he can't say no because I'll pay him. <laughs> he has to do it. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. I was I was gonna call it spooky spends. Spooky spends. Mm. It was gonna be spooky spends segment, and I you're see. literally it was just gonna be you playing horror games. I was gonna have like a closet or something, a little dark closet that you had to play horror <laughs> games in. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> it would literally and like the best part is is that would be the it'd be the horror game room, and so you just have to sit there. And then I had this other idea, like, like if we made a lot of money out of it, I was going to build you another room where the best part is, is, like, it could be an interactive room, so, like, I could poke my hand through, like, <laughs> chat at you at the same time. <laughs> so you have real-life horror mixed no. in with your video game horror. <laughs> no! <laughs> Guys, I would like to formally put in my resignation from game. It was nice being here while it lasted. Oh man! <laughs> and I wish you guys all uh, luck. Good luck with the future, Zio. I will upload everything I've been working on and send it to you through the drive. <laughs> Screw you! Uh, <laughs> it'd be yeah, genius. It'd I'm be not cool. a fan of that. <laughs> uh, I have the plans out, so I can't do it. So. Well, I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you are. Oh, hey, I, this game's done downloading. I've been kind of craving. A playthrough of No Man's Sky. Really? I kind of talked about it a little bit in the live stream chat. Yeah. I was kind of I debating on live streaming it. Okay. So. Like I live never... streaming it for game or on your channel? On game. On Twitch. Oh, nice. So I think it'd be kind of fun to go through and do that and uh, play it with the community and stuff like that. I'll probably do, if I do, if I do do it. <laughs> do do. Do do. I will. It'll. I'd probably do it like solo for the first little bit, just to. Okay. Yeah. To do it, unless you joined in with me, because you don't have any experience with the game. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't. But so I know you I, don't I guess really I, like it. I don't really. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm kind of a traitor. I don't really enjoy No Man's Sky, but I guess I also don't. I've never really played it with somebody, mm -hmm. so I'd be down to try it at least. I don't I'm think we'd enjoy it together players. though, because we have very different no? play styles. That's true. Because I. But, 
this is playing the type through of No Man's Sky. Where... I'd be very slow going through it because I'd just mm. be like, I'd enjoy taking it in, doing little things, fiddling around with the bass, not caring. Yeah, about see, I would get. Things. I'm very exploratory, so I'd be running off and trying to find stuff. And... Yeah, I mean, it would work out in a situation where I'm like, I need this stuff, and then you go out and get the stuff. But then I don't yeah. hear you complaining about, oh, no one ever comes exploring with me. Why aren't you guys coming exploring? <laughs> like what happened in some of the Minecraft stuff. Guys, this is great. Let's go out and do stuff. And then you're just like, Vroom. you're like, where's everybody? It's like, no, Zio, none of us said we were going. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, like The worst thing is, is I was like the only person who played that way. Like everybody else sat down like, we need to build a house first. We got to make sure we have this ready to go. We need these types of resources. We need to survive through the night. And I'm like, let's. Yeah, and I and was I building my up. stairs. Or digging Yeah, them. you're just building stairs. Like, what the hell are you? You're just digging a hole. <laughs> He's all well, you're doing. I was digging stairs down to a mine that would eventually be a mine shaft. Mm, would okay. I ever use it? Probably not. But those stairs, every time I went by, would I'd look at them and be like, yeah, I built some nice stairs. Put yeah. some good work into that. So I, and that's part of the reason why I don't like Minecraft, because I'm bad at it. I don't like plan and i don't really like hunker down i just explore <laughs> and then until i lose all my stuff and then you, you just like to keep and then going I, and then i get frustrated because i lost all my stuff and i'm like ah, i get more stuff so i get more <laughs> stuff and then i lose that <laughs> yeah i really love the like the simulation games like the base building and then just like the building yeah. a nice little house and I, I like teaming up with people who like to do that stuff because i don't so then it helps me <laughs> Well, maybe I, we'll I don't find mind something being that works like, out then. Yeah, like when we played that one zombie game on the island, where the that? forest, the forest. Yeah, the forest. I thought worked because you and Toll love to build a base, and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna built, go out and kill stuff. We built an awesome base. I had like a little <coughs> uh, rock pathway. We were just yeah. about to start a garden, and then we never picked up the game again. I know. I don't remember why. I don't know. I still hate that we have a series that we're calling desolate. Because it that's, makes me think of that, that game. It's a running. It's just a running title. It's not the actual title of the series. That's uh, just the name I came up with because of the update. It's called Desolation. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, it's not actually titled yet. By the way, how's that going? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one editing it. <laughs> I haven't looked at it in a little while. I gotta go do. I gotta go finish that. <laughs> At first, I'm like, what are you talking about? I didn't do anything <laughs> with Blake that. The Blake stare kind of gave it away. I'm like, he doesn't know. I'm like, oh, man. No, I think, I don't remember what I did with it so far. All right, cool. Which doesn't really help anything, but. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, well, man. See, th what's really nice is this is one of the first podcasts where we're past the hour point and I'm not like, whoo, we can end this. It's like, oh man, I don't really want it to end. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Okay, what are we, what time are we at? Uh, we're oh, at an man. hour and two minutes. Oh my god! Well, at for least me, an hour for and recording. <laughs> yeah, but that's different. You started yeah. recording in eight ages ago. Yeah, it's true. You know, got to keep up traditions, Ben. You just got to keep up traditions. So, how do you feel? Mm -hmm. Uh, and now that we're getting closer to the launch of the new PlayStation, and it doesn't look like you're getting the modular you thought. It's still kind of close to what you were saying, in the sense yeah. that we're getting like the different tiered systems, where I think yeah. one of them's Xbox did that. Xbox mm -hmm. did that with their Series S and X. They <laughs> they had the tiered system thing. So <laughs> I, like I was... how there what is it, the Xbox One X and then the Xbox Series X. <laughs> It's so confusing. How, how did dumb. you read the article where a bunch of people thought they ordered the new Xbox and they just got the Xbox One? <laughs> yeah. I bet you Microsoft did that on purpose so they could boost their sales. No, they're not. I, they're not that sleazy. I, I don't know, man. Microsoft has done some sleazy things in the past, like Windows 8. <laughs> that was a shitty thing. See, but and I also I liked Windows 8. Really? I didn't have any problems with it. I thought it was I like cool. Windows it, 10. I also like well, new Windows things. 8. I like things that are yeah. different. Did you so get the Zune it. when it came out? I did. <laughs> the Zune was terrible. I had a Zune. My wife had one too, and it was bad. No, I think my friend Sean still has his. My wife had a Zune, and I had an iPad, or an iPod. Yeah. And my wife used my iPod because it worked better. 
Oh, really? Yeah. I never had problems with the Zune. It definitely wasn't as intuitive as the iPod was. Right. I guess that's what I mean. Like, the controls are a little smoother on the iPod. Well, because all you had with the Zune was the dial. Right. And the button in the middle. Yeah. But the screen was amazing. It did have a nice screen. I yeah. I, I think I loaded... When the Zune came, or no, maybe it was my iPod before that. I don't, or my i my MP3 player. I don't remember. But I, I remember downloading the old cinematics for Guild Wars. Yeah. Back from like 2003 or whatever it was, and playing them on that and looking at it and being like, yeah, this looks great. Probably helped that it was all like condensed down on this really tiny screen. Right. But so I, I okay. guess since we're on a podcast, I I need to bring this up for anybody listening this far. We need to uh, inform you that we might be turning into a ASMR channel involving a lot of choking. What did you uh, do? I know I, I know I mentioned this to you, Spen, but just as an update, the v- dumb video I made where you were choked, where Spike was choked for one minute, uh, is over thirteen hundred views now. That's insane. It has over fourteen hours of watch time. Fourteen. Wait, 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 wait. 1,300 views. 14 hours of watch time. It's a one minute, it's a one and a half minute video, but it's only a one and a half minute video because of our outro. It's a one minute video. So everybody's, wa- everybody would have watched that for about a minute. Uh, It's got an average view duration of 40 seconds. Oh, 40 seconds. That's still scary. That's a lot of time people just sit there to watch you go. <laughs> That's so dumb. Dude, it is freaking... I don't know what happened. It's on August 15th. Something happened, and then views just started climbing. Ever since then, then or did it slow down? Uh, it, it was a slow climb on August 15th. So, like, before, it was just a flat line. Like, we had a bunch of views in the beginning because, you know, it notified our, our viewers, and people watched us, and, like, what is this garbage? And I just laughed. And then August 15th happened, and there was a slow climb till September 10th. So, like, August 15th, it went from 270, or I'm sorry, 220 to uh, 4, 420. And then on September 10th till now, it went from 420 to 1300 views. Wow. I don't YouTube, know. I don't know what it YouTube's is. YouTube's algorithm must have been like, you know what? People need to see this. This is good stuff. But how people are finding us is they're they're searching on YouTube. Anime Strangle. That's where most of our, our views are coming from. People are searching Anime Strangle. Oh, that's right. You told me getting, that before. Getting our video. <sighs> now, I don't like where, that. where I'm saying we might make the switch is I'm not going to lie. I added that to our tags <laughs> after I saw it. Because <laughs> in my head, I'm like, all right, this is generating content for us. Let's go. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, wow. we've gained three subscribers from that video. Really? Three people have subscribed to our channel because of this video. <laughs> They're like, well, I need some more of this. Uh, wow. At which point I've also... Looking for more choke videos in Cowboy Bebop to just do a sequel to this. <laughs> just make like, a, I'm hoping it's like Faye or Jet or something. So I can just go up to Toll or Dingo and be like, hey, I need you to pretend you're being choked for a minute. Uh, no. So we'll see. All right. Well, uh, I guess that's a great place to end the podcast, guys. Thanks uh, for hanging thanks. out and, <laughs> and listening. Um, Don't forget to go check out. Spike being choked for a minute. Yep. And uh, 43 views in the last 24 hours. That's dumb. That's dumb. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> guys, we'll catch you later. Have yourself a good one. Uh, if you made it easy. this far, uh, if you could drop a like, that'd be great. If you could leave a yeah. review for the podcast as well, that would also be yeah. fantastic. One really out helps of one stars. Out. How many stars do we have? We've got no stars. No, but like, well, two. We've review. had two stars. That's that's Me the review you. link. Like they can they can do. <laughs> <laughs> I meant like one out of one. 
I mean, if you could give us a number between one and one, that's just let us know where we rank there, and uh, yeah, that'd be great. Let us know what to do next podcast. Yeah. If there's any topics that you want, keep them to yourself. This is our podcast, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you filthy trash pandas. <laughs>